This video is to show you how to do the 3D printing applications assignment. This assumes that you are in your Microsoft Teams class notebook in the collaboration space under first circ cycle 3D printing applications. What you are supposed to do is you are supposed to do an internet search for ways 3D printing can be used. I know of multiple ways that 3D printing can be used other than just simply toys or really cool things to put on your desk. So you're going to do some research and just list three different ways that 3D printing can be used. Share a link to a site where you found a particular way of 3D printing and then provide a picture for that. I jumped onto a Google search and I did a search for 3D printing applications. This is ways that people apply 3D printing in real life. And I never usually pick the very first link or two. So scrolling down a little bit, I see one from PC World. I know it's a magazine I've trusted before. And it's the 16 coolest 3D printing applications. So I checked out this uh, website. As I scroll down, I'm noticing that you can use 3D printing for fabric embellishments. That looks pretty cool. Or doctors are using 3D printing to recreate bones or make 3D glasses or even buildings. And so what I would do is I would go back to my Teams page and I would type in those three different things that I felt was interesting. Fabric applications, buildings, and bones. And I could then go to my website the website URL is at the top. I'm going to right click on here and go to copy, go to my Teams page, and I would right click and paste. Oh, apparently, I can't right click and paste, but the keyboard shortcut would be Control and the letter V as in Victor. And there's my website. It doesn't matter if it turns into a URL or not. And then the last thing is to put a picture in here. So go back to the website, and maybe I want to use the picture of the doctor with the bones. So I right click on the picture, copy it, click inside this box, and control and the letter V as in Victor puts the little picture inside this box. Picture is inserted. You can always click on it, and you'll see these little squares around the edges. If you grab one of the corners, you could shrink it down so it doesn't look super giant and mess the whole table up. If you don't resize it, it's not the end of the world. It's just something to tie these things up. So I hope this walkthrough helped you out a little bit. And uh, always email Mr. Fogel if you have any more questions.